Greetings, this is Earthman. Good morning to you from Origami's Living Soil, home of Grovana, the most amazing and plant and soil inoculant in the world. This is a wonderful day, and I am thankful to God that I am alive. He is a wonderful God, and He's a God who thinks of you every second of the day and loves you. And um, He's just laid out the, an amazing process of how to grow plants as he has designed them to, to be in uh, total cooperation with soil microbes and, um, and that's how a plant grows to its true genetic value of how he has designed it to be food for our bodies and minds. And um, what we have here is about five gallons of soil I mixed for my wife. She's going to be planting some um, uh, flowers and some flower boxes, and uh, she wanted me to whip up a batch of soil, and I decided to make her some good earth instead. And um, I put some nutrients in there and some oyster shell flour to uh, buffer out the pH and all that. But um, the main thing I put in there was about two and a half cups of Grovana, maybe even a little bit less. Um, to inoculate the soil, uh, re-inoculate it, and as you can see, after I mixed it up a few days later, um, we got uh, mycocillin growth spread throughout um, the soil. Um, as you can see, uh, if someone was to look at that didn't know any better, say, "Oh no, there's spider webs in my." soil or oh no there's mold in there and oh man it's all ruined but no this is what you want to see my friends you want to see living soil and um that's what we got here so that's what you're going to get when you order grovana you're going to get um uh, just a huge amount of inoculated um wheat bran that's what i do it's a, in a fashion of im4 or I am three, I should say, and uh, I mix uh, two thirds of my uh, DMO 3.5 and um, one third of the Bokashi I make with my LPX1. Both are registered with the New York State um, Department of Plant Inoculation. Um, so you know, I I did uh, get it laboratory tested, and all is good, and analysis and all that you'll see on the label. But, um, uh, so you, you want to get um, about a half a cup or a little bit less, a uh, third of a cup will do, uh, per gallon of soil. You're going to inoculate and you mix it and uh, let it sit for uh, about a week or two or just plant right into it right off the bat. It should be good to go, but um, it even helps a little bit more if you let it sit for just a tiny bit. And uh, as you can see, once again, you got uh, inoculant uh, that's obvious in there with all sorts of little uh, colonies just forming all over. And as you can see my soil, um, I leave little rocks in there and sticks and stuff like that. I, I try to replicate earth, you know, and um, I put wacky stuff in there too, though. As you can see, I put uh, marbles in there. I put... Uh, that I found, I got from a garage sale, a whole bag of them. I mix, sometimes I mix marbles in there. I'll get some of those hydro stones and mix that in there. Uh, inoculate it with pieces of wood. I'll put it in there. And um, just a lot of, just stuff that you, I even leave little stones in there. Uh, just because, uh, you know, that's the way it's found in, the way God's, you know, done his creation and uh, another thing I leave in there or I try to put in there are earthworms so um, you know try to design earth not just the, the soil you see on YouTube it's nice and clean and got all this stuff in it it's fluffy with perlite and vermiculite not that that stuff's not good because you know it is um, but it's uh, not always necessary um, to go all out like that as you can see um, if you were to look at this, you wouldn't think much of it compared to a bag of you know, fox farms. So, once again, if you get a bag of uh, Grovana, you get, or you know, order a Grovana for me um, through our website. 
and um, you mix in with your soil, you will have living soil. And you, once again, you put in there about one third to one half cup of Grovana per gallon of soil if you're going to mix it in directly. So may God bless you and your day.